reviving lifeless dirt. Why today's soil fails and time-tested remedies endure. Any dedicated gardener knows the frustration all too well. You tuck your seeds into the ground with high hopes. Nurture them with steady watering and pricey plant foods, only to watch them struggle or fail to sprout. The issue isn't your effort. It's that what you're working with isn't truly soil anymore. It's barren earth robbed of its vital essence, a thriving community of microscopic organisms. Let's explore why contemporary farming has drained the life from our dirt and how forgotten natural elixirs from history can bring it back to vitality. The shift to industrial farming brought efficiency on the surface, but it ravaged the hidden world beneath our feet. By prioritizing quick fixes like man-made NPK boosts, we've ignored the complex web of life that sustains healthy earth. In just a scoop of fertile ground, you'll find trillions of bacteria, fungi, tiny animals like protozoa and more. Nature's tireless crew. They break down waste into usable nutrients, craft stable organic layers, and team up with roots to share resources. Strip away this ecosystem, and you're left with inert granules that repel water, hoard minerals inefficiently, and leave plants vulnerable to illness. Here's where time-honored cultivators outshone today's tech-driven methods. Centuries before lab tools revealed these tiny allies, growers in regions from East Asia to the Americas, stumbled upon simple water-based infusions that turned weary land productive again. By steeping everyday greens in water, they brewed murky, fizzy mixtures that softened hard pan and greened up fields. These weren't mere nutrient shots. They were life-infusing brews that repopulated the ground with helpful bugs. Rice rinse, the easiest path to soil renewal. The humblest of these old-school tricks begins right in your pantry using plain, unprocessed grains. It taps into acid-loving bacteria to swiftly reclaim territory from bad actors in the dirt. Grab a cup of dry rice and give it a light rinse in two or three cups of fresh water. Not a deep clean, just enough to leach out the carbs for that milky haze. Seal it loosely and set it aside in a warm spot for a couple of days. As it ferments, those rice-hugging bacteria boom, yielding a tangy brew topped with a skim. That's your sign of success. Soil's homemade gut health boost. It makes one measure of this rinse with 10 parts plain water. It then pour it at the base of your greenery. Right away, these helpers kick off breakdown processes. Nourish friendly fungi and tilt the balance toward a microbe-friendly zone where villains can't thrive. Plant ferment extract. Bottling nature's vital sparks. For those up for a bit more hands-on work, this brew pulls growth-boosting signals from fast-sprouting flora sharing them with both the earth and your harvest. It takes some setup, but pays off big. Collect about two pounds of lively greenery, like tender borage shoots, lawn trimmings, or everyday invaders such as dock. Dice them up and tuck into a vessel, then blend in a half pound of unrefined sugar or syrup. This sweetness pulls out the sap and fuels the brewers. Pack it tight, drape with fabric for air, and wait five to seven days. Here acid bacteria, untamed yeasts, and assorted good guys munch the carbs, freeing up catalysts, root stimulators, and building blocks. Save the inky, caramel-scented result for storage. Blend one portion with 20 parts water and use as a root soak or leaf mist in peak growth phases. Users often see tougher foliage, better bounce back from tough conditions, and more wrigglers tilling the plot. Compost brew, the ultimate biodiversity booster. If rice rinse and plant extract offer precision strikes, this one floods the system with a full microbial orchestra for worn-out beds. Start with two pounds of well-aged compost. Rich, loamy, and forest fresh. Free of off odors. Bag it in netting or an old sack. Then dunk in five gallons of water. Success hinges on fresh air. Hook up a fish tank bubbler with a diffuser to sustain the oxygen lovers. Toss in a spoonful of syrup for bacterial fuel and let it churn one or two days. You'll end up with a sudsy cocoa-hued potion teeming with bugs, spore carriers, single-celled critters, and worm allies. Splash it undiluted on stems or spritz foliage to armor against invaders. These heritage infusions tackle root rot at the cellular level. As the tiny teams expand, they secrete bonding agents that clump particles into fluffy clusters. Think of it as nature's Lego for better drainage and root room. Revitalized earth acts like a smart reservoir, gripping rain while doling it out steadily. 
Year by year, refuse turns to enduring mulch, warding off washouts, and stacking up lasting richness. What sets these apart is their soil-first mindset. Nourish the base, and the rest follows. With the crew back online, the ground self-regulates, minerals unlock on cue, bugs and blights back off, and thirsties is up. Gains compound, so steady users see plots get richer, not ragged, with time. These overlooked waters aren't just formulas, they're a nod to enduring ways that forged robust earth long before lab-made crutches. Pick rice rinse for ease, plant extract for pep, or compost brew for depth. You're not dumping feed, but firing up the motor for self-sustaining bounty. Begin modestly, stay the course, and observe the shift unfold. True eco-gardening starts with everyday stuff and a dash of trust. Eager to shake up your plot? Dive deeper into Earth Reboot hacks and spread the word to growing buddies aiming to awaken their acres. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Comment below. What methods do you use to boost your soil and which techniques work best for you?